Malo and welcome to Season 4, Episode 10 of Breakfast Bites by TevoVosports.com. A wrap of Pacifica People's Sports on this bright and sunny Tuesday morning, 10th January 2023. Coming to you from Paradise on the 180th Meridian in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. And we start with boxing again. Australia's IBF Cruiserweight World Boxing Champion Jai Opataya has been called out by Brit Chris Billum Smith for a monster world title bout at Vitality Stadium in Bournemouth. After Billum Smith delivered a devastating fifth round knockout victory over Amin Zoja. In rugby league, Former rugby league star Chris Caruana, who played 10 season in, seasons in first grade until 2002 and who signed for Souths on a 1.2 million Australian dollar three-year deal at the height of his career. Big money in those days. He has revealed how his life unraveled after he got addicted to ice, leaving him on the brink of suicide. Ice is a very, very nasty drug. It took away a part of my soul. The longest I was awake for was 12 days. The longest I didn't eat was for 14 days. I lost 24 kg in 12 months. It's an insidious drug, Caruana said. Great to see him on the comeback. In football, soccer fans might not have to wait four years between World Cups. FIFA president Gianni Infantino wants a triennial tournament whatever that means, following the success of the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar, which delivered record revenue of US $7.5 billion to FIFA. However, changes to the international calendar wouldn't be possible until after the 2030 World Cup. In sports biz, Under Armour continues to struggle. The company reported net income of 86.9 million US dollars for the second quarter this year, a sharp decline from the US 113.4 million it reported during the same period last year. The company's stock has lost more than 50% of its value in 2022, and uh, Under Armour in- inventory, standing at US 1.1 billion dollars, is up 29% over the same period last year. In Rugby Union, a bit of tension between Wallabies head coach Dave Rennie, ruling out a Rugby World Cup coaching partnership with Eddie Jones after he linked up with his 44-player training squad on the Gold Coast yesterday. It won't happen before the Rugby World Cup, mate, Rennie said. There's a Fair bit of speculation about a lot of things, but my focus is on the Rugby World Cup right now. Uh, Wallabies head coach Dave Rennie responding to Eddie Jones's comment that I'm not an assistant coach. <laughs> Rennie fired back that he wasn't looking to add Fast Eddie to his team anyway. For TaveOverSports.com, I'm Kaldan Kamir. Mahalo, vina'a, and thank you. Please hit the subscribe button below if you'd like to receive more Pacifica Sports Highlights on Breakfast Bites. And thank you all too much for all your love and support.